Welcome everyone tonight to our meeting, which is uh, being presented in a different format to how we normally present it. And as the meeting chair, I give my consent for this open council meeting to be streamed live, recorded and published online. At an ordinary council of meeting, members of the public are invited to participate by asking questions or making submissions. As this is a special meeting of council, only those items listed in the public notice of the meeting, as is included in the agenda document, are to be considered by council unless agreed unanimously by the council and in accordance with the Local Government Act. The chair and or the CEO have the discretion and authority at any time to direct the termination or interruption of live streaming. Such direction will only be given in exceptional circumstances where deemed relevant. Circumstances may include instances where the content of debate is considered misleading, defamatory or potentially inappropriate to be published. The stream will stop prior to the closed section of the meeting and will recommence for the conclusion of the meeting. The public is able to view this live stream via our website at www.pyrenees.vic.gov.au. Should technical issues prevent the continuation of the stream, a recording will be made available on our website. The Local Government Act requires that councillors be present at a council meeting. However, due to the social distancing requirements as a result of the coronavirus, the only staff that will be physically present are our CEO, minute taker and communications officer to facilitate the live streaming. Our directors, Kathy Bramwell and Douglas Gowans will be joining the meeting by digital means. Thank you. And with that, I will ask everyone to stand please for our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you give your blessing to this council, direct and prosper its deliberations to the advancement of your glory and the true welfare of the people of the Pyrenees Shire. Amen. We acknowledge the people, past and present, of the Wadawurrung, Jajawurrung and Jabawurrung tribes whose land forms the Pyrenees Shire. We pay our respect to the customs, traditions and stewardship of the land by the elders and people of these tribes on whose land we meet today. Thank you. You may be seated. I will now ask for apologies and all being present, there are none. I now ask for any notice of disclosure of interest by councillors or any officers, please. Madam Mayor, I have an interest in item 6.3. Uh, it relates to the delegation of the CEO. Thank you, Mr Nolan. Any other declarations? And there being none, we'll move on to the items for decision. And we start with our first one from Corporate and Community Services, which is the proposed budget for the 2020-2021 And I'll hand over to Mr Nolan. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, it's a pleasure tonight to present to Council the draft 2020-2021 uh, budget for Pyrenees Shire. Uh, Section 127 of the Local Government Act requires Council to prepare a budget for each financial year and provide an opportunity for people to make a submission under Section 223 of the Act on any proposal contained in the budget. The proposed budget has been prepared by councillors and council officers and guided by community action plans and strategies. The draft budget for 2021 has been prepared on the basis of a rate increase of 2%, which is the rate cap set by the Minister for Local Government under the Fair Go Rate System. Rate revenue from rate increases above the rate cap in previous periods have been reserved specifically for capital expenditure on renewing council road infrastructure assets. In order to balance the remainder of the budget, council has continued to pursue operational savings and efficiencies which will enable it to deliver high quality, responsive and accessible services to the community. Uh, the 2020-21 
Budget has been prepared in line with the rating strategy adopted by Council in January 2019. Council's waste management service is fully funded by waste service and user charges. The 2021 charge includes additional costs related to glass collection and disposal, e-waste collection and disposal, and an increase in the state EPA levy. Residents with curbside collection will experience a 17% increase in the garbage charges. Residents on improved properties without curbside collection will experience a 29% increase in their garbage charges as a result of these increased expenses. And unimproved properties will experience a 0% increase in their garbage charge. The draft budget includes capital works of $7.041 million. Some of those highlights are outlined in the uh, Council report, which include expenditure on gravel road uh, resheeting of $953,000, resealing of our, unseal of our sealed road network um, in the order of $846,000, Council funded bridge and drainage works of $708,000, roads to recovery funded works of over $2 million, and swimming pool uh, improvements to the value of $60,000. Budget also includes provision of, of the Drought Affected Communities Program. Uh, so a further $1 million has been allocated for Round 2 in addition to the Round 1 funding currently underway. Focus for the next year is to continue to deliver on projects and services that make Shire a great place to live, work and invest and to respond to challenges that we're currently facing. These challenges include not only the impact of the coronavirus on our communities, but also the challenges of rate capping, state government cost shifting, maintaining our road infrastructure and the impacts of climate change. Property revaluations are now done annually. And although council's rate increase of 2%, actual rate increases of individual properties are impacted by the change of property valuations with individual increases, dependent on relatively uh, on relativity to average valuation increases across the municipality. Councillors have um, been provided with a, a full copy of the budget and have participated in a number of workshops. Uh, which has culminated in the uh, final draft budget that's before you. And with that, councillors, um, I'll put the recommendation that council endorses the 2021 proposed budget for advertising and the council give public notice of its preparation and invite public submissions to be received up until 5 pm on Friday, the 15th of May 2020. The council releases the proposed budget documents to the public on Wednesday, the 15th of April 2020. The Council needs to hear any submissions in person or consider any submissions received after 4 pm on Tuesday, the 19th of May 2020. Under current COVID 19 arrangements, anyone wishing to make a personal presentation to Council will be invited to do so by virtual means, audio, visual, and teleconferencing arrangements. For this will be facilitated by Council staff. And that Council at its ordinary meeting on the 9th of June 2020 results to adopt with or without amendments the 2020-21 budget. Thank you, Mr Nolan. And with that proposal before us, do I have a councillor please happy to move that recommendation? Thank you, Councillor Eason, seconded by Councillor Vance. Uh, would you like to speak to that, Councillor Eason? Thank you, Madam Mayor. This is one of the most important documents that we, as a council, put together throughout the year. And preparing this one is no change from other years. There are always challenges, and those challenges have been met very well by our staff bringing this information to us, providing it in a format that we can understand, and putting it out to the public so that they can have a look at it and comment if they wish. I know that the ability to comment this time may be more difficult because of COVID-19, but I do ask anyone in the public realm that wants to have a chance, please take any opportunity you can to let us know your thoughts. Thank you, Councillor Eason. Councillor Thank you, Madam Mayor. 
I fully endorse Councillor Orison's remarks. There is one question that I pose to our CEO, and that is for the assistance of our ratepayers, more so than my knowledge. We see a large increase, or a 17% increase in garbage collection in the residents. I wonder if Mr. CEO could inform us of the percentage of that that belongs to the EPA as member. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Councillor Vance. Um, it's it's not a large amount, Councillor Vance. I actually have that figure in front of me at the moment, but um, I need to take that one on that. Thank you. Other discussions? Thank you, Councillor Thank you, Madam Mayor. I do see um, no comments of Councillor Eason, but I'd just like to. Uh, document and uh, we'll be getting there towards the end because um, you know we're going to quite just this remote and the and I just like to thank the staff for the perseverance to draft to set up a Advertising 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 advertising
Monday, July 2019. Uh, the recommendation is that the council gives notice to the Secretary of the Department of Environment, Land, and Water and Planning, advising that section of unused government road projects to travel up to 67, section 49, is not required for public traffic and is unused according to section 4 of the land plan in Thank you very much, Councillor Barry. Thank you very much. After that, any discussion from other councillors? In that regard, that vote, 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 that vote,
And a council notes that the instrument includes a power of delegation to a member of the council staff in accordance with section 983 of the Act. And the council resolves that the common seal be affixed to the instrument. Thank you, Mr. Nolan. These are crazy times that um, do deem these things necessary, but I do ask now for a councillor that's happy to move a motion to that recommendation. I'm happy to move, Madam Mayor, if we get the wording, the additional wording now, I'm going to say that it's clear the resolution. Yes, yes certainly to add the amount. Just at the end there. Yes. Uh, so up to four hundred thousand. Up to the amount of four hundred thousand. You have to have cancel cost. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Uh, do I have something to second it? Thank you, Councillor Ferrari. You have to make change. And do you like to speak to that now, Councillor Clark? Thank you, I think. It is important that we understand we do have some things that do go up for that $4 million loan and we don't have a lot of connection with the accounts of our scale. Um, However, the, 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 there really is two of these changes. The first one is around that limit, and certainly our accounts are more comfortable with something that's approaching the level of the today. The second part is the CEO has outlined effectively provides a situation for him in which council cannot physically meet to make a decision, and I'm sure it's our intent to be able to counsel the council with all the human rights to make decisions. That's, that's, that's what we're here for on behalf of the community. Um, but in that extraordinary situation, he has the capacity under this delegation to act on things. And these are not things that come out of the blue, but just arrived yesterday. They're all things that are in our budget that are all going to be fully revealed to the community. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, Councillor Clark. Would you like to speak, Councillor Thank you, Mr. Reflect and, and agree with what Councillor Clark said. Just, I just think, as you mentioned, it's extraordinary times and um, unprecedented times, and that calls for a lot of different way of thinking. So I think, it's, I think it's really important that we do think about these things. Just in, in that case, time something, something happens that we can't foresee, um, we've, we've got all bases covered. So I think it's a really good um, strategic um, decision. Thank you. Thank you. Other councillors will do that. Yeah. 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 Uh, noting that, we will then have that um, motion to vote. All those in favour, and that's carried. Thank you very much. That brings us to item 6.4, which is the review of the council plan for the 2017 to 2021. And I'll hand over again to Mr. Nolan. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. There. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to. Uh, present uh, this council plan with uh, minor adjustments to reflect changes from year to year uh, in respect of council's plan. Section 125.7 of the Local Government Act requires that at least once in each financial year, council must consider whether a current plan requires any adjustment in respect of the remaining period of the council plan. The existing plan is dated 2017 to 2021, so this is the fourth and final year of the uh, current council plan. Councillors participated in annual planning day in December 2019 and identified that there were any for some minor amendments, and subsequent briefing sessions have also identified uh, specific uh, changes to initiatives within the council plan. Some of those initiatives include the impact and response to COVID-19, uh, the, the provision for 2020 council election, the implementation of transition provisions relating to the Local Government Act, uh, key capital improvements including uh, Corrie Park and the implementation of the Drought Communities Program, organisational development, implementation of the Transformation Program and the Frontline Services Review. And a commitment to long-term strategic planning, including the Pyrenees Futures Housing Strategy and Rural Land Strategy. Having considered the changes in accordance with Section 125 of the Budget Government Act, um, that the Council give public notice in accordance with 223 invite submissions of proposed adjustments to the Council Land document. So, councillors, uh, the draft council plan has been workshopped at the councils. 
Um, the document that has been circulated to you that have been identified as one uh, slight change in the document uh, that is distributed, and that relates to the project which is referred to as the OPAM project. There has been a decision by the project control group uh, within the last uh, fortnight in, res in response to the impacts of COVID-19 to sustain that project. Um, and at this stage, um, it is unknown or unclear as to when that project may recommence. The draft that you have in front of you uh, has the project um, deleted from the council plan. However, in uh, consideration of the council discussion this afternoon, it was uh, uh, felt that it could be included back into the report with provision for that project to recommence subject to um, the uh, economic environment next to it. So with the uh, inclusion of the OPAN project at uh, 5.3.3, um, I then put the recommendation to council that council having reviewed the council plan and determined minimum adjustments are needed, it's public notice in accordance with 2.3 of the local government act that invites submissions to be made on the adjustments to the council plan 2017-2021 and considers any submissions that a council meeting can be held on Tuesday the 9th of May 2020. Thank you, Mr. Nolan. And, and again, thank you, and, and we will acknowledge the impact of it. It's not much of that in the lead up and the consideration of what has, has come before. Where we are now, we're going to go with that. So, we'll just put it in depth. Um, process, so thank you for that. And with that recommendation before us, do I have a council to remove that? Thank you, Council Vance, and second, Council Eason. Council Vance, would you like to speak to that? Council plans are our most important document to be put together. The budget has done annually the council plan, plans, plans for our future. And, and uh, over, my, over my long period of involving as a councillor, I was never struck in a like COVID 19. It's, it's really thrown its banner in the works. We, we must, must abide by the rules that go with this pandemic. And, and, Hence, we've had to make some alterations, but I thank the staff very much for the efforts that they put in the alterations that have been brought to bear. Necessities. That's all I was like to say. Thank the staff for the great effort they put in. Thank you, Council Mayor. Do you like to speak to me? Thank you, Madam Mayor. I agree, Council Mayor. This is a very important document. I recall when I came on to Council. How important that document was in giving me an understanding of where council currently was, where, where it was heading. And it was our job then as new council to take that plan and move on with it. And this is the legacy that we, that we as council will be leading our council that should be elected in October this year. And that's certainly going to take place. If it does, the new council will build on this plan that we have created. We'll see. Thank you, Councillor Eason. Other councils, we could like to speak to that. And again, thank everyone for those efforts. And we put that um, recommendation to vote. All those in favour? And that's carried. Thank you all. That brings us to item number seven, which which we will be moving into confidential items. So I do ask again for a councillor to move us into closed council. Council Clark, Councillor Clark, Councillor Ferrari, and now we will cease live.